Hello everyone and welcome to a product review that I'm surprised that some of you actually care about. I feel like I'm one of the only people in the world that's like, look at the product, and, but I mean clearly, clearly not, especially since this is a YouTube made me buy it. I feel like I used to see and hear all the time the UK vloggers talking this lip product up the wazoo, and it happens to be the Bourgeois Rouge Edition Velvet. I have mine in the shade number seven. It's also the shade Nudist. I got this when I was on my trip to Paris and France. <laughs> to Paris and France. To England and Paris. It's been one of those days, you guys. Bought this when I was in England, and I'm really excited to finally be testing it out. From what I heard from the UK bloggers and everything, they seemed to say that this was just a really, really comfortable matte finish lipstick. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I think the color's beautiful. Clearly I don't have a vast amount of knowledge on this stuff, so let's go ahead and hop on over to someone's website and we can read about this and get more finite details. Like I said, this is the Bourgeois Paris Rouge Edition Velvet. It has got nine different shades to choose from. Mainly they are like reds and pinks and fuchsias, but they've got some more nude -y shades and some light pinks and everything too, but the exclusive formula has a matte finish and is incredibly light. It's got a soft melting texture that glides onto the lips and turns into a matte, velvety, and incredibly light color. Lips are left smooth and soft as velvet. It's going to give a second skin feel without drying or fading the lips. 78.8% agree that the texture is undetectable after application, and 79% say that the lipstick is comfortable to wear all day long. This was only tested on 33 volunteers though, but apparently this is going to last for 24 hours. No need for constant touch-ups. A chic fashion accessory. <laughs> So apparently the way that this bottle is designed, it is a must-have fashion accessory to show off. Oh man. And it looks like, according to the Boots website where I did buy it, I mean in-store, not on the website, but it is £8.99. So yeah, that is it, you guys. I am excited to test out this supposed fashion accessory slash lipstick with you all. Let's go ahead and sing the song together and then we can get on into putting this on my lips. YouTube made me buy it, and now I'm gonna try it. We'll get you a little zoomed in here, bloop. You can see I haven't even defiled this yet. AKA, I have not opened this yet. There we go. All it takes is one little twist. Bink. Mm -hmm. It just kind of smells like a liquid lipstick, if you know that smell, but there you go. There is that slanted doe foot applicator. I mean, it looks pretty normal to me. The real test will be smearing this on my lips. We'll see how this ends up feeling. I hope it's pretty obvious, so, but I don't have anything on my lips right now, so I am ready. Let's do this. Um, yeah, I mean, it's really thin. Like, really thin feeling. I was expecting it to be <laughs> more pigmented than that. Let's see if we can build this up. Alright, so there it is built up. I feel like, you know, it definitely did take a few coats, but we were able to get here and yeah. I mean, it's it's very smooth and actually plush feeling once you do build it up and everything. It really wasn't patchy or anything going on. It went on very smooth, very creamy. I really can hardly tell that I have anything on my lips right now, so it definitely does have that kind of, you know, what did they call it, a second skin feel? The color is really pretty. It's like a mix between a soft, soft carnation rose and then a bit of like a mauve berry undertone to it, so it's really pretty. 
it's actually pretty unique to my collection, I feel like. It's not dried down or anything yet, so, I mean, I don't know that it's going to dry down. I guess I'm just assuming since it says that it lasts for forever and blah, blah, blah. But uh, I guess we'll see throughout the day. I will be checking in with you all before and after meals. I'm excited. I'm about to go get pancakes with Jacob and Carmen, so that should be good. I mean, I'm, I'm hungry. It is currently 10.39 in the morning. In any case, I'll just be seeing you all very soon here on YouTube land, and we can see how this ends up wearing, see if it's worth all the hype. Bye! They say, let's turn it on, or let's blast the drum. Good evening. It is finally the end of the night here. I say finally just because I'm tired and I'm ready to go to bed. It is currently just about half past 12 in the mid of the night. Let's say this a bit more normally. It's just about 12.30 in the morning. Today was a good day. If you want to see what I was up to, definitely go ahead and check out my Wet n Wild coverall foundation review. That is where I did all of my vloggy bits. But otherwise, you know, you guys saw meals and stuff, so whoo, exciting. I mean, aside from the fact that I did have a Diet Dr. Pepper with my dinner, <laughs> I know. Go wild on this Saturday night. Ooh, ooh editing a video. <laughs> I know, I know. I like to live on the edge, you know? And lipstick. I am pleasantly surprised, you guys. I mean, clearly, as you can see in the close-ups here, and as you have been seeing, it is not perfect. It does fade on the inside of the lips. However, that being said, the fact that that is all it faded through, you know, pancakes at brunch today and then through soup today, like, that's impressive. Like, really impressive, if you ask me. I was not expecting this at all. Like, when I was asking Jacob and Carmen after pancakes and hash browns today and I was like, do I even have anything left on my lips? And they were like, what? Yeah. Like, yeah, you look like, you know, normal. And I was like, no, but for real, do I have any lipstick left on my lips? And they're like, literally, yes, like, a lot. <laughs> and I was like, dang, like, when I finally looked in the mirror. But yeah, I'm really, really surprised. This is ultra comfy. It doesn't feel hyper-moisturizing or anything, but my lips really haven't felt dry at all today. And if they have, even just, like, slightly, you know, you just lick your lips and ta-da, all better. I don't feel like it had a crumbliness to it at all, like some matte liquid lipsticks can have, especially when you are reapplying over itself. I mean, I've reapplied over this, what, like three times already today and really hardly any crumbling. The transfer is super minimal. It does have a slight stick to it if you like press your lips together. See that? But it's like, it's super subtle like super subtle, but that is the texture once it finally does like dry down or whatever to this. It has a slight taste to it, which isn't the best. I mean, it's just kind of like a lipstick taste, but honestly, I feel like you have to be like licking your lips. So really not a problem at all. I'm really pleasantly surprised. I think like if I use my Bite lip primer underneath this, that would definitely probably anyways take away from the fading inside of the lips and this is just going to look perfect for a real long time. So in terms of my pause rating system, I like to rate my products out of 20, uh, 5 points in each category of P for price, A for application, W for wear, and S for shade range. Is it worth the price? Yeah, you know, like, what was it? Basically nine pounds. You know, it's a bit pricey, but it works really, really well. So I'm gonna give it a five. You know, I definitely think it's worth the price. Application, it is super easy. It was a little bit less opaque than I would personally like. So in terms of application, I'm gonna give it a four. It just took some building up and working with, but really nothing too bad. And then with wear really good. Aside from the inner mouth fading and everything, I'm going to give it a four. And then for shade range, I do think, 
It could use a little sprucing up, but for the most part, they've got a good amount of shade, so I'm going to give it a 4 there as well. So we've got 4, 8, 12, 17. Is that right? A 17 out of 20? Like, well done, bourgeois. I am very impressed. I did not think I was going to end up liking this as much as I did, so I'm really, really happy with it. And as always, I just hope it was enjoyable and helpful for you in seeing my review and whether or not this is something that you're going to want to get your paws on as well. So if it was, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!